this is the basin. We gotta take this thing. Well, they're gonna take it apart. Get rid of it. We gotta dig out for a basin area to set these two guys on. These top pieces, we've gotta cut them down. So get a new piece of pipe and reset those in. This is our space. everyone well it's really not morning it is afternoon because i was not here i was off with my daughter getting her award ceremony john's over here again getting all annoyed tony's hysterically laughing and we do all the work to come see you shoot the video <laughs> i do i come shoot the video so i am gonna help them get this block out um you know i leave the italians to remove the blocks and the italians can't get the blocks out he wouldn't? No. Oh boy, we gotta get Tony on the machine. So I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna get stop talking. I'm gonna see what I can do so I can get the hell out of here. I got so many things going on. Keep watching. What is going on here? If you take a look, what are these? We've got aqua blocks everywhere. We've got flow cells. We've got regular aqua blocks compared to these, which are heavy duty. You see these here? I can jump up and down on these all day. Why? Because I think I've got eight panels in here. I might be fitting in there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven panels in this. You ask me why? Yes, Scott, why? because I gotta put those on it. I've got those giant pieces of granite going on it, but I've also got my flow cells. And I've got those gravel block, uh, those marble blocks there as well. We're working on building something here. So all the blocks are made. That's already over there. We've got our area marked out for a new aqua box. We have our transit set to our height. Now I'm going to start digging this out because dump truck is back after dumping the concrete. So I'm going to get this all dug out to the height we need so we can then start putting our liner underlayment and all that stuff in to get this thing built. You know, somehow it has to be our luck. It hasn't rained in like a month. And sure enough, we start this water feature project in here. Get about like half little more of a day and mother nature decides to open up let fury be unleashed and torrential downpours yeah so we're working on trying to clean up so we can get out of here so we got the area excavated we got our aqua blocks just sitting in there pretty close we got to set our vault but what we have to do first is take those stones lay them out find our circle pattern find where the big stones are going to sit within it and then once we know that we can figure out which block our vault's going to go in. It sounds a little crazy sounds a little difficult it's friday it's raining we got some work done i'm at nash granite and stone and marble and we got our basin in somewhat well we know our machine can't lift that. That is gonna go in there in the center with these around and can't lift. So we are working on getting our site prepped. Of course it rained and all the water got held in this space. Tony and Ricardo are getting it kind of fixed up in there. John and I are laying out blocks. We are gonna get liner and underlayment in short, but we're working on figuring out our circle. That's our circle piece we have. So inside of that, we got that giant stone there, which we tried lifting, but it's a no-go. And underneath this is gonna be where our aqua blocks are. So when I have to work on figuring out where, with my aqua blocks, the vault's gonna set. I wanted to just throw that in the center to kind of have an eyeball reference, but that thing is, a beast and our E32 uh, did not do it.
so the hole is fixed. We got the slop out of it. Ricardo's fine grading it. Tony's working with him. All right, it's the end of the day. Everything was actually set. We had our blocks and our liner all prepped in here. But if you see how wet those areas are, the ground is just saturated. And so these blocks kept moving. Hey, that's an outline of me. So we took everything back out. It's supposed to be dry for the next day or so at least. So we're gonna let this sit out, hoping that tomorrow morning, midday-ish by then, it dries out a bit. Cause if you look, as you can see like the crevices in there, it just kept moving on us. So I want this thing to dry out a bit more. Sun's doing a good job of baking it right now, but it's the end of the day. So we took everything out. We put it back in the corner, gonna leave it and check on it tomorrow during the day. Do you see that? It didn't rain again. So we're here, we're gonna try and get this all set in before rain does actually show up. Um, blocks are laid out, all and everything is set. It actually has dried out a bit, so shh. Gonna stay quiet, see if that works. Um, getting our underlayment in, then our liner, we're gonna get our blocks. We're gonna get our plumbing all set in, because then we have to come back when they have their crew here to set these giant stones. All right, our basin's all set in place. Our blocks are in and John's running. We've got our one inch flex PVC that's coming through all these blocks. We've got two stubs to come out that big granite block over there. He's working on getting them lined up. The other guys are watching, give him good encouragement. Everything is in place as far as what we can do. We've got our aqua blocks in. We've got flow cells in for additional structural strength. We've got our plumbing lines, which is underneath all this, that stub up to two spots. They go back into here where we've got our pump, two valves, autofill. Plumbing's over there, our, our timer is gonna be over there for our lights. And now we need to set this behemoth. And then we've got two more over there. And these are the top diffusers that have to go on. Yeah, we're working on set mist right now. That's our machine. It's about 1960, which hopefully it works. This thing is a behemoth. I'm not getting underneath it. I do want to survive. 